Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Kirk has metaphorically taught me to get off my backside and post a few more videos. So <laughs> here we go. Let's go and have some fun. <laughs> this was the room originally a couple of days ago, but um, I gave it a good old coat of PVA, but then this happened. The old dreaded distemper. Needless to say, I'll let the uh, customer Now, this is there. almost an ideal room to spread because Got no window reveals. Got a blanking plate across the top of the window. And there's no margin down the uh, right hand side of the door. <sighs> a quick tip, guys if your speed skims look like this, sort your life out. <laughs> Now, got a few options in a room this size. The options I like to use are either to do two of the walls with a bit of a fast set in there, and then go do the same again with the other two, nice and quick. Or, the option I'll be doing today uh, is I'm gonna put some extra time in, because I, I mean, a good spread you could spread this whole room in one set without extra time, but I'm getting old and uh, I like to take it a bit easy, so I'm going to put an extra time in this today and putting the whole thing on with two coats but one set, which is the way I basically was taught and I've always done it. So I'm going to be knocking up one grab mix, get my first coat on, all that off, then I'm going to water down what I've got left, put my second coat on, and so on and so forth until we've got it all troweled up and looking lovely. So let's do it. Oh yeah, I uh, don't think we can get them anymore, but I'm going to be using these today. Basically, you pop them over the hubs, where there's a radiator going up here. And you don't want to have to plaster around the screws. So you stick these on instead. Uh, I've been told that, that um, especially if you can't get these anymore, that if you put some butter in the hubs, and then spread over that, and then the fat, kind of bleed through the plaster so you can see where they are. So when I've run out of these, I'll try that and I'll let you know if it works. Right, now we're off. Uh, I would normally use my 14 inch Martian tower, but today I'm going to be using my 18 inch ox. They're both five inch across the top. To say too much laying on heavy stuff with these uh, can be hard on your wrists and your joints. But uh, for skimming, laying on, lovely. few hollows down here where the, uh, the finishes 
cut away. I haven't got a bit more depth. Just put a bit more steam over those. Generally lay on all my middle first, reach it up as hard as I can from the floor, and then I'll go back and do the two edges and the tops. Again, when you're doing a job like this, if you've got the, uh, the gear at decent thickness. It would drop a lot less and it will go on a lot nicer as long as you've got a heavy suction on your background. But I'm using a classic neat PVA, letting it dry. Hold the full SPR. Otherwise, I could use that. If you're watching this curve at any point, if uh, your Kieran fancies a little breakdown in London, you can come and be my cameraman. <laughs> make the job so much easier to film. I might get to knock up some gear as well.
it appears you've probably been told before when you're using these, best to keep your fingers in here and not touch the blade because the blade will bend. I mean, the ideal when they're stuck into the room is that the face is the place to take the light off. Uh, preferably by the customer or a sparky, and all the wires taped up and pushed in. So you don't have to mess about going around and Now for a bit of a perspective change, I've got you on the old chest cam. Okay.
You usually do have to plaster around sockets, which nine times out of ten you will have to. Um, you just get better at it with, uh, with time. It's, it's always a pain. It's never, it's never fun. It's never fun. <sighs> Plastering would be so much easier if rooms didn't have sockets or pipes. Put the tops on. Great time for your ladder to pack up. Come on, look at that. It just snapped off. You see that? Oh dear, yeah. Better not stand on that wrong. We've got a stone in it, don't have words with that labourer. on and a small bit around the window to do and that uh, more right, I'm probably gonna pop this on while I charge up my battery right guys and girls I'm just giving me We have got the first count on 
and it's been gone over with a plastic blade speed skin. And now we're going on the second coat. Um, it's a technique you've probably seen on some videos before, but it's where you get your speed skin, again, the plastic one, butter up the blade and spread your second coat on with that. So uh, let's give that a try, shall we? Why not? I don't have the trouble you have when you're <coughs> doing a really one hit is everything's in the way so it's just got to be in the middle of the floor because you can't lean anything up against the wall. Uh, there you go, right. If you've done a lot of coving in the past that will help you with this part of the grain. exactly the same, got the same cardboard on it as uh, on the Jet Rock Coving, but weighs practically nothing because it's got the old polyurethane inside it. And uh, I stick it up with finish, um, but uh, you can literally stick it up with, uh, with glue from the old, uh, from the old gun, you know what I'm talking about.
I'll just stuff on the top round. Uh, second cut on that ball. I'll continue round. I'm not going to bother filming it because uh, it gets too boring. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Yeah. All balls now second coated using the speed skin. Like that. Now this one has picked up enough. Get a little bit of water on there and the little blade speed skin. Okay, guys, this is where I run the wet brush on the air. Get a nice spray of water. Metal blade. Again, it's sometimes so easy to put your fingers on the blade, but you've got to keep them in there if you want to keep it flat.
And I'll continue that right way around the room. See you in a second. Okay, so that was my one set hit of this room. I did use uh, extra time. It was a free bag mix. And I had laid on the second coat with the buttered up um, spring skin, plastic blade. Um, and I'm really pleased with the results. And I finished over that once I started putting water on with the uh, metal blade speed skin. I only tickled a little bit around the top uh, with the trowel and flexi. Uh, but generally, this was the finish, and that's how I'm leaving it, under the flexible metal bladed speed skin. Yay! Yeah, I'm very pleased with the results. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. as I can. I've still to tidy up and uh, clean off the architrave, but other than that, we're done. Yay! All right, guys, we've uh, got to stop saying that, haven't we? <laughs> uh, been great seeing you. Um, yeah, see you in the pub. That's the open trail. <laughs> Every other Monday at seven o'clock. Well, I'm well pleased. Uh, after prepping, I laid on, started laying on at 10 to 12, and now it's 10 to 3, so three hours. It'll take the odd minute. So yeah, well pleased with that. Well pleased. <laughs>